Next right one. Here. Yeah. Do you do? You can edit that. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You do. Wow. Let me get my little cart here. So, what camera should I look at you? This one. Okay. Welcome to another edition of Yacht Life Chronicles, where we are better together than separated. We here, you know, Creators Lounge, cooking up with folk, you know, and this been Artist Week, you know, on Yacht Life Chronicles. You know, we had Smoke Skywalker on the show this week. You know, make sure you support his his um, his uh, music. Uh, we had uh, MTM, uh, well, Muddy Waters, uh, mm-hmm. Rail on the show. You know, formerly known as MTMG Rail, you know. Um, make sure you support Muddy Waters' uh, music. Um, we had Elway D on the show, you know. Um, man, stupid bars, man. Elway D got stupid bars, man. Make sure you support Elway D. And uh, we got, we also have HBK Boom coming up um, that I'll be releasing soon. And, you know, to wrap the week up, you know, I wanted to come down here to Creators Lounge and um, wrap it up with Cooking Up With Foe. Because we don't never want to get ignorant to the business side. We don't never get oblivious to advertising, marketing, and promoting, you know, yourself as an artist, you know. So we want to wrap the wrap the uh, 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 the rap artist week up with cooking up foe down here at Creators Lounge, man. So what's going on? Man, can't call it, man. Just staying active, you know. Just staying active. Staying active, man. And, you know, seeing a lot of work that you've been doing, man. A lot of people been, you know, written the venue out, man. So, for sure, for you sure. know, you know, to be able to create a dream and to be able to see that it's actually been, you know, everything is executing, everything going well, man. So, how you feel about that? Man, I'm blessed. I can't complain, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, inquiries been coming in, uh, people booking it out. Having a little events, they private events, they showcases mm-hmm. and different things like that, open houses and stuff like that. So I can't complain, man. Mm-hmm. You know. And one thing we know, you know, you've been working with a lot of artists down here. You know, you've been working with a lot of artists. You know, you've been doing a lot of, lot of development. You know, and uh, that's what we wanted to talk to you about. You know, we want to ask you some questions, man, because we want to wrap this week up, man, with the intelligence of the the, the rap industry. Okay. You know, because, you know, we don't want to just be stuck in a booth. You know, facts, we want to facts. be able to think outside the booth. And we want to come to you, you know, and we want to get some game from you, man, how to think outside the booth, how to advertise outside the booth, how to market yourself outside the booth. And how to become a brand outside the booth, you know? So, um, one of the first questions I wanted to ask you is that what marketing strategies have you found to be the most effective in promoting a local artist? The most effective is going to always be word of mouth, um, especially in your local area. You know, um, word of mouth is still the most powerful is tool. Uh, but, it's a co- combination of things, um, and every artist is different, you know. So for your typical artist, you you normally going to record a song, uh, shoot a video for that song, uh, and create other contents to that song, whether it's TikTok, trailers, uh, whether you go on live on Facebook or Instagram or you know, just the more content you build around that song, that way your awareness of that song is up to par to where people can talk about it. Mm. You know, so uh, that's just one step. It's, it's plenty of other ways that you can do it uh, with third-party campaigns like Google Ads and you know, th- that way you get outside of the market, but just mm. for the local scene, I think Word of mouth is still the most uh, effective tool mm. to have. Uh, somebody can be playing your music in the car, and it can be somebody walking down the street like, hey, who is that? Mm. You know, uh, dang, he hard, or you know mm. what I mean? She hard, or whatever. So uh, word of mouth is definitely, because uh, we is small, can't, we, right. we small, we're a small city, so it can spread fast. You know, but it's all about what you do after that. Once they know you rap, what you do after that. 
Mm-hmm. You know, and that's why we talking to you. You know, mm-hmm. because we want to take you. We 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 want you to take us further than a boot. Mm-hmm. You know, and that's what we look forward. You know, as the as the, as one of the pantheons in music in mm-hmm. Sacramento. You know, you one of those ones. You know, an artist can come to and get game from. You know, far as marketing, advertising, promotion. You know, things of these nature. You know, you always schooling somebody when it come to artists. You know, um, branding themselves and putting themselves out for sure. You know, because a lot of times, like I say, so many artists has been, you know, you know, like I say, cheated, and so many artists has been, you know, uh, um, messed over. Yeah. You know, you know, not knowing it's a dirty game, not knowing the the, the back end, the, it's the a dirty business game. part. So, you know, and you know, with you, man, that's why we sitting down here with you today, man. So mm-hmm. you can teach us as much as you can. You know, we can dig mm-hmm. into your brain a little bit, man. So. You know, that artist won't crash out there. Right. You know, any artist that's watching this show, you know, man, you know, we don't want you to crash out, you know, because there's a lot of artists is crashing out. Definitely. You know, mentally, financially, you know yeah. what I'm saying? All you know? across the board, for sure. Yeah. But you currently launching a campaign for, when, <clears throat> you are currently learn, launching a campaign for your artists down here at Creators Lounge mm-hmm. and advertising. Um, so, um, what are some of the okay you edit this you are currently launching a campaign for your artists helping them advertise them down here in the creators lounge studio you know so what are some of your um, what are the first some of your go to tactics when it comes to advertising and, 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 and marketing artists I mean well you have several like I said you got several ways uh, every artist is different and it depends on the content that you is putting out. But you got your your social medias, your Instagram, your your Facebook, your Twitters. Those are uh, avenues and platforms that you can put a campaign behind. That way people can see you on those platforms. And then you got your Google, uh, your Google ads. You know how the ads pop up uh, before, a, before a video you clicked on. That, those are effective as well. Um, and there's so many other ways to uh, market yourself in a free manner, uh, whether you engaging on your social media or whatever. Uh, once you got a little following, whether it's 25 people, 50 people, 100 people, start engaging with, start engaging with them in a way of doing like pop up videos or something or doing like uh pop up videos or like telling t- directing them into uh, a campaign I mean not a campaign but directing them into a location where you can mingle with them at yeah that's that was the name but um yeah so it's several different ways for sure for sure you know, the most effective that I have seen is uh, the Google ads, mm-hmm. you know, and the social media ads. Mm-hmm. You know. So when it comes to creating music with an artist, like, say, for instance, if you going to, you know, put your heart into an artist, like, do you, like, can an artist just be like, fo, I want you to manage me. Do you have to have some type of chemistry with that artist like is this is this an artist that can just pop up out the blue you know because nowadays you have so much art creativity out Mm -hmm. you know and it's so much to choose from for sure you know Uh, so i know your heart gotta be with a lot of artists that you that you intensely promote intensely advertise definitely chemistry have to be uh there Uh, we got a vibe First of all, you get what I'm saying? And secondly, um, it's about a budget. You know, like, I can't do nothing for you if you can't invest in yourself. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? I can't I can't do nothing. I can I can push push your music or your content to resources that I know, mm-hmm. but this is a pay-to-play game. So even if they did want to mess with you, 
or like do business with you, mm. they gonna ask you what's your budget. Mm. You get what I'm saying? So this is a pay to play type game. Yes, I do have resources that I can push the envelope for artists, but uh, it is gonna be a time to where like you're gonna need an investment to get bigger looks and better looks to make your career more effective. Mm -hmm. You know. So how do you approach artist development when you're working with an artist? Well, first I try to uh, brand them. You know, uh, you gotta artists gotta start looking at themselves as companies, as corporations that build companies. You get what I'm saying? So, our artist as the our artist as the corporation, mm -hmm. and every song that he makes or she makes is companies that this corporation has 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 made mm -hmm. and in each of these each of these songs or companies you can give out shares to which is licensing or um uh, your bmi sound exchange and stuff like that where your music gonna get played outside of just dsps you get what i'm saying so uh you basically uh what i try to do with artists is yes, we're gonna do the music once once we we got the music solidified before we release anything or before we do anything. I try to express, uh, uh, um, I try to build a brand identity of them. Like, what is this artist about? What what could we sell? Whether it's merch, whether it's product, whether it's retail, it's the, whatever. It's the artist market. Yeah, and that's like how the, you like market the, the, the artist. The artist music might be good, but you know the 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 the, the characterization might not be there. The you know just the you know you can't promote the artist because the is it is it sellable? A, that's that's the thing. Is it sellable? That's why I approach music in a different way. Like anybody can make the music. What can you can you sell mm -hmm. them for them to support your music? Mm -hmm. That's what this is about now. Right. It ain't about that's a hot song. Music. Yeah, it ain't about like. Don't get me wrong. You can make a hot song and, and and create some motion, but most of the time, people want to feel connected to who they like listening to. Right. You know, so whether you got a shirt, some type of product some type of business or something that's establishing we you sit up and support people's music all day who we really don't know we don't even know yeah you get what i'm saying so, we, so i see what you're saying is that you want to you they, like that person personality right. you like what they went through it, it kind of resonated re resonated mm -hmm. to you but as an up-and-coming artist i feel like you got to take your business first you got to take your business seriously first the music will develop. You get what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. the more you, it's just like going to the gym. The more you in there, the mm -hmm. the better you gonna get. Right. The stronger you gonna get. Right. So the music is is gonna be there. You know, it's all about how you marketing the music, how you marketing yourself as exactly. a brand. You mm -hmm. get what I'm saying? So like to your artists out there, you know, and and I tell a lot of people, you know, it's what you're good at. You know, you can be good at cooking. You can, sure. You know, you can be good at, you know, doing hair, doing nails, or you can be good at, you know, uh, sewing clothes or whatever. Let's keep it real, though. A lot of people just say they good at making music. Mm -hmm. They good at rapping. They good at singing. That's cool. That's cool. But they ain't making you right now money. Right. You, you get what I'm saying? saying? And that's and that's the thing about me. If you don't have enough, I'm sorry to cut you off, but like, if you don't have enough uh, finances or money to invest in yourself, then you either a gotta hustle to to make some money to invest in yourself, or get a job that can support your career, or brand yourself to where you can sell what merch. you what you putting out. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, whether it's merch, whether it's a product, whether yeah, it's yeah. socks, whatever it yeah. is. You got to find a way you to sell find yourself a way. outside the booth. You got to. Yeah. And, now, and then, you know, with me podcasting, just doing my 
my thing. You know, I had to find a way to make some everyday money. You mm-hmm. know, and that's how that's how my clothing line was born. Mm-hmm. You know, because you know you can you can do something and you can invest into something for so long. You got to make some kind of return back. That's to you know. So you gotta you guys gotta be thinking of some type of way to brand yourself, some type of way to market yourself outside the booth. You know. People might like your lyrics, you know. People go, you know. People might not like your lyrics, you know, but they might like the shirts that you print up. It take money to make money, you know. Mm-hmm. In most cases, mm-hmm. it takes money to make money, you know. So, like, don't get me wrong. You can get it out the mud, and you know all of that too. Don't get me wrong. You mm-hmm. can, but what will be more effective? Mm-hmm. You you saving up a couple couple dollars, a thousand dollars, or some saving up twenty five hundred dollars or something, getting you equipment or getting you a a press machine, getting you something that's going to make some money right now to fund your rap career. You get what I'm saying? It ain't all about like it ain't all about just being in the booth. We can be in the booth all day. Like I said, each song is a company. Yeah, that's how that's artists need to start thinking like that. Mm-hmm. And I was watching Isley Brothers on the Breakfast Club, and they was talking about a lot of songs that they marketed and made money off of. Through I'm talking about man through lawsuits and everything. Yeah, and how people tried to run off with their stuff, yeah. and they you know was winning eight million man and. You know, Brandon twist and shout, man, and putting them on the chicken commercials and this yeah. and that. So, you know, I understand what you're saying is that every song that you make is a company. It's a company. You know what I'm saying? So that song you. is living forever. Yeah. yeah. So it's all about what you want to do with it. Yeah. So what have been some of your unique challenges to marketing and promoting in, in, um, in music? Uh, The budgets. That's been the, the most challenging the most challenging uh obstacle of advertising and marketing because you need the budget if you don't have the budget then it's not gonna be an effective marketing strategy you know Mm -hmm. um like i I, i've been talking i've been in talks with different marketing firms uh that do marketing for Fortune 500 companies and stuff, mm-hmm. you know. Um, and the lowest mm-hmm. for marketing for to be in in, in, in in next to a Nike or next to a Gucci or next to the people that market these companies, it, uh, the least is $10,000 a month mm-hmm. just in marketing. You know, and that's at the bare minimum, Mm -hmm. you know. So when you speaking on marketing, it's all about budget. You feel me? Like, because people ain't just going to market you for free. What if you ain't got no budget? Well, you got to get it. You got to you got to utilize that social media. You got to you. That better be your day job. That better be your job, your day job, your night job. It, you better start utilizing the free tools that we have, which is Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, Triller. And I think that sometimes, do you think that sometimes it's good to work from the bottom up like that? Because it's a learning lesson for all of us, and then you get the opportunity to sell what you learn. See, it depends on the artist. It all depends on the artist. Like, some artists make music that needs to be marketed right now. Mm-hmm. Like, the type of music that they making right now need a $10,000 budget, need a $25,000 budget because it's going to make $3 million this year. You get what I'm saying? But you got your other artist that's on the come up, that's rapping, you know what I mean, and doing their thing. They need to utilize that social media. Mm-hmm. They need to. So how do you know when you have that song that's that's just, that's the one? 
I mean, most artists. Let's say, for instance, okay, this the song right here. You know, we finna go out and get some money for this. Most artists don't know because they they artists, so they just keep creating. You know, all of it is they baby. If you ask them, how do you know? Well, I just have an ear for music. You know what I'm saying? It'd be certain songs. I'd be like, dang, that ride. You know, like that's that's something right there. Then it's the other ones that just take the breath out of you. Like mm-hmm. that's right. out of there. You get what I'm saying? This is out of here, right yeah. here. This is it. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. But at the same time, you know, it's still a risk. It's still a gamble, regardless of how you want to look at it. But usually I gauge it based off of playing the record in different environments and watching the reactions. Okay. If you can get the reactions like Bobby and Head, they dancing to it or they feeling it or whatever, whatever. Mm-hmm. And you take that in different environments, and you just looking at the reactions right. of people. You like, oh yeah, this this, this some this some right here for sure for sure. You so know? if you was an artist and you had a deal on the table, how how would you say if I wanted to give you two hundred ninety thousand as an artist? You know, how would you approach that deal? How would I? Pro- it 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 depends on how the deal is structured. You get what I'm okay, saying? Okay, so say say if a label wanted to sign you, mm-hmm. you know, like you know, for you know, because a lot of artists, you know, they just putting out content they ain't never been signed. But say for the ones that is get signed, like when the label reach out to you, and the label say, "Hey, we want to sign you." So the what 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 what's the first thing that go through your mind if you was an artist? Uh. I'm making sure the numbers right. You get what I'm saying. First of all, I, it's just all so about how, how do the you deal gauge, structure. How do you how do you gauge your value though? I gauge as my value. Art, how, no, I'm saying as an artist, when you say you make sure the numbers right, how do you gauge your value of what's right? Looking at your analytics, you get what I'm saying, and then you seeing what they offering you based off your analytics. Cause that's all your leverage. That's that's what your leverage is. Is what your analytics say. How many numbers are, what's your impressions? What's your clicks? What's your views? And that's on your social What's your media. streams? That's what I'm or saying. Or whatever, or whatever. So th- when a label going to present a deal to you, that's what they going to present it to you based off of. So when I say making sure the number's right, I'm double checking on not only just on the stream side of things, I'm, I'm, I'm checking the splits. How much you getting? How much I'm getting? What's my budget for marketing? What's my budgeting for videos? What's what's the numbers like of the deal? How's the deal structured? You get what I'm saying? Uh, is this a uh what type of deal is this? You get what I'm saying? So it's so many it's so many loopholes and deals. You get what I'm saying? So if a if a label do come with a contract, let's just say everything cool with it, like. It, it it fit what I'm probably doing right now. Nine times out of ten, if I'm if they offer me two ninety, I know I'm worth two million. You know, this is just how I would think. You get what I'm saying? Because they only gonna give you what they the bare minimum of what they want to give you. You get what I'm saying? So I would think in my head, I'm they projected me at at least like $2 million. You get what I'm saying? Of what they can make off me. So with that being said, if I'm already having motion, cause they, I gotta have motion. If they offer me a deal, I will still grind it out and continue to build my leverage. You get what I'm saying? I'm already making five, 10,000 a show. Probably, probably getting five, 10 for a verse or something like that. You get what I'm saying? So, I I continue to grind it out mm-hmm. until I'm in a position to uh, partner with a label mm-hmm. instead of signing with a label. That's my that's my overall because objective. Because like you said, because I, I understand what you said, that's your company. So you want to partner with anybody? You don't want to sell your company. That's a fact. So once it, once you looking at your song as companies, then you value it more. You value it way more because now you're looking at it as a Fortune 500 company. Mm-hmm. 
I got you not just I got two thousand company. I got two thousand companies under my corporation. You're not looking at it just like a two minute song. No, you're looking at it as a company. Because when that song, when that song get out, first you register it. You know, you do all your prep proper stuff you need to do with that song. Um, BMI, that psychology sound, need to be sound, campaigned. Yeah, more sound of change, sound of change, sound trust. Uh, BMI, put it on your D- DSPs. Now you making money three different ways. You get what I'm saying? And now these companies can pay you for rights for a song to put in a movie. Mm-hmm. Sync licenses. Mm-hmm. I I can put a song in a song li- libraries where these big companies can pick your song to be in this upcoming commercial or film mm-hmm. or whatever. You get what I'm saying? So I look at those as shares to a company, you know? Uh, when you when you uh, letting people uh, use your music, exactly. I look that as a as a share exactly. of a company. Like, all right, I got a hundred shares out on this on this company mm-hmm. right here. You know, we got a hundred owners mm-hmm. of this of this song. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? So I just look at it from that aspect of it. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. What the splits look like? What mm-hmm. what we doing? You know what I mean? So right. that's how I look at it. How do you measure success of marketing and advertising? You know, when I, a local artist is on a marketing and advertising campaign for their music, how do you measure that? You know, how you measure success for that for a local? Artist? I don't think it's a uh, like a measurement per se. I look at they hitting new levels. You get what I'm saying? Because one thing worked for you on this marketing campaign that you was doing that got you to another level. And then you do another marketing strategy pr- plan that gets you to another level mm-hmm. to get you another level because everybody got their definitions of what success is. Mm-hmm. You know, success might mm-hmm. to one artist might be like me winning a Grammy. Right. <laughs> and then another one will be right. like I made a million dollars off my music. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? So it depends on what what you label in success. It's kind of hard to measure that. Because it's just levels. It's just the levels just keep going. So how do you stay up to date with the latest trends and the latest styles, man? Being a student, mm-hmm. artist, you gotta be a student of this. If this is what you really want to do, uh, whether it's that's with anything. I ain't just speaking on just music. There's just anything. If you want to be good at something, you have to learn it through and through. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You gotta understand what you getting yourself into mm-hmm. how can you monetize from this mm-hmm. what's your what's your advantages what's your disadvantages how how is you going to innovate mm-hmm. you get what i'm saying and i feel like artists nowadays needs to be more it, it need to be more students mm-hmm. in the music community mm-hmm. you get what i'm saying it need to be a lot more students because it's a lot of people just hopping in the game and not knowing how to handle business properly. Because mm-hmm. if you was a student of the game, you would know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's probably certain mm-hmm. things you might not know all the way through, whatever, because it takes experience to learn different mm-hmm. things. But just being a student and trying to learn everything about your craft, it, it shows in your business right. decisions. Right. You right. know what I mean? So how do you use the the latest trends and the latest um, um, the latest things that's going on in the world in your marketing strategies? I mean, I'm a I'm a sponge, bro. So whatever I soak in, I I use. You get what I'm saying? I try to utilize. You don't let nothing go to waste. Yeah, like I ain't leaving nothing <laughs> on the table. You get what I'm saying? I ain't leaving nothing yeah, on the you table. You learning like, this for a reason. Uh, of course, yeah, you know I'm learning you. it. And, but the main reason why I learn it a lot of the times is to spread the word as well, because you might be in a position that I'm not in yet, or vice versa. You get what I'm saying? I might already been through this already, mm-hmm. so I might want to share that information with you because mm-hmm. I see what level you at. You right. get what I'm saying? So it's just all about uh 
passing the information on, mm-hmm. learning as much as you can, and applying what you learn. Mm-hmm. So let me ask That's you. a very in- important step, that mm-hmm. last one, applying. Me, applying. Let me ask you this, because a lot of artists, you know, they tether to the, the booth and they get older, you okay. know. And what happens is that, you know, sometimes our our intelligence can be played in other roles of the game. You know, this part of the game, booth game ain't working. You got to know when it's your time up, man. Like, you just got to be smart enough to know that, like, in this game. Not saying you need to give up rap. But, like, if you know some young kids that's fire, got the juice, got stuff in motion, get behind them. Mm-hmm. You, the, you, the, you the big homie. You done did this for plenty of years, right? But one thing about being a big homie and being seasoned, you still got to be able to learn from them, too. Mm-hmm. You can't just push your old ways on them. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Because that ain't what it is right now, for real. You just giving them foundations of what you want your experiences, but it's a whole new wave coming. Right. So you got to be able to soak in information and apply it. Mm-hmm. So, like I said, well, I, I don't mind if a, if you 30, 40, 50 sh- rapping d- in this effect before you do it. You get what I'm saying? But like if you 40 rapping and you ain't got motion like that for real. Get behind somebody else, man. Mm-hmm. Like, just get behind somebody. Like, get behind. Make a make a team. Make a. If you want to be in the music industry, learn how to manage. Learn how to shoot videos. Learn how to be uh, somebody else' crutch in this music game. Mm-hmm. And you will be. You learn how to make a beat. Do something. Outside of just music. What advice would you give a local artist who's trying to build a music career in the market? Stay consistent. Mm. I mean, because it don't happen overnight. I mean, mm. some people do, but it goes back to those campaigns. They had that bag mm-hmm. that got put behind that, and it blew. It took off. You get mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But most people ain't in those situations so Mm -hmm. just staying consistent putting out quality material uh, and engaging with your fans Mm -hmm. because your fans is the ones that's gonna blow you up man Mm -hmm. like them the ones that's gonna tell they they cousin they they best friend uh they the ones that's gonna support you by buying your t-shirt or you know what i mean people gotta like take more care of their fans they gotta care more for their fans it's just a lot of people that's like kind of tyrants in this game like i do this and y'all better support me <laughs> you know what i'm saying like nobody don't want to support pushing, some pushing yeah your, you're pushing the ego right you ain't pushing your music you're pushing you're your pushing ego the more. ego like yeah. that's all that is so it's just like you gotta find more savviness savvy ways to uh Engage with your friend, your fans. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So what do you think is the main thing that most artists got in common? Got in common. Uh, artists? Mm-hmm. Now, for the, for the artists, what do you think? Yep. They, the have, thing, they have they have a vision. Many. Too many rap artists got in common. Rappers is something different, but the artists that I know, everybody that I have came in contact with that are artists, they all have a vision. Mm-hmm. They all have something like, it need to look like this, or I'm trying to get this off, or it's like they know how they want to do things. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Right. So I would say vision. Okay, so looking ahead, what are some upcoming trends in development in the rap music industry that you think you will have a significant impact on marketing and artist development? 
The new trends. Yeah. That's uh-huh. coming along. You know, because you've been doing a lot of stuff, man. You've been keeping up on the latest, you know. I think uh, artificial intelligence, mm-hmm. AI. Mm-hmm. Um, I think all not only just with music or I think I think you gonna have to have that in your business, mm-hmm. whether it's music, whether it's a small business, whether it's merch, whether it's whatever. Mm-hmm. You're going to have to have some type of implementation of artificial intelligence. Because us all as a business, you know, we we gotta li- we 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 all we we don't have to, but you know, we all live in a digital world. We all should. You know, all of us live in a digital world yeah. with this music. With it's this scary. Podcasting, you know, with but this. But it's you life. Know, selling, it's, you know. Yeah. You know, and at the end of the day, man, you know, we just want to take advantage of what's in front of. Mm-hmm. You know, we ain't put it out here. We just taking advantage of it. You know, mm-hmm. and I think a lot of other people should. You know, man, we down here. So, July 14th, we have the Trap the Runway Art- Entrepreneur Showcase. We have fashion, we have clothes, we have hair, we have nails. We're having a lot of things going on down here. You know, July 14th, 5 to 9. So, you guys make sure you make tap sure in. y'all tap in. A lot of music down here. We're gonna have HBK Boom. We're gonna have uh, we're gonna have a lot of art down here. A lot of artists. We're gonna have right. baby cocaine. You know, we're gonna have a lot of artists, you know, seeing on the show, you know, muddy waters, you know. So, make sure you guys come down here. Yeah, make sure y'all tap in, man. Y'all tap in. Trap the runway. And be on the lookout June 9th, too, for a Baby Cocaine album release party, video release party down here at Creator's Lounge. You know what I mean? So we got events on events on yeah, events on events, yeah. you know, coming. coming. So make sure y'all tapping into Creator's Lounge, Yacht Life Chronicles. We got a lot. A lot coming, you know what I mean? Y'all definitely can expect more content from me and folk coming to Mm y'all. You know, we we ain't tapped enough into his mind yet. So we (laughs) we gonna keep digging, man. He got some jewels down there. I feel like we ain't got to the treasure chest yet. You know, we making our way through the sand, man. We coming to that treasure chest, folks, man. You know, to get them jewels up out you, man. But we want to thank you, man, again, man, for always love, baby. Another great show, man. You know, you want to get anything else out before we, you want to give them your last word before we get out of here? Man, make sure y'all going to tap into the Creators Lounge uh, Network on YouTube. I'm dropping nothing but live from, from the corners in studios. We got dropping vlogs, podcasts, all type of stuff, all type of content going to be on there. Y'all go and follow uh, Creators Lounge 989 on Instagram. Y'all going to like it up on Facebook as well. Cooking up with foe on Instagram. Yeah, make sure y'all like that up on Facebook as well. Yeah, I mean, we just we just trying to do what we got to do. That's you know up. what I mean? So, That's Creators Lounge, make sure y'all create. Yeah, come down here and cook up a foe. Yeah. You know, and at the end of the day, man, it's about marketing, advertising, and promoting yourself. You know, don't get so lazy as an artist. Don't get so lazy as a business that you're not marketing, advertising, and you're promoting yourself. You know, me and Cooking Up With Folk going to bring y'all as much content as we can to help edify you guys, you know what I'm saying, and bridge the gap on the ignorance out there, you know. And um, ignorance only means a lack of knowledge. That's a know? fact. You know, so we want to fill that void in on Y'all Life Chronicles, mm-hmm. you know. So thank you guys for tuning in to another edition of Yacht Life Chronicles where we're we are better, better together, together than, than separated. separated. Thank you guys for tuning in.